How to add Stripe to Shopify, updated way. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can connect Stripe to your Shopify store. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you need to do to be able to actually connect Stripe to Shopify is to have a Stripe account. So to build a Stripe account, you're just gonna go on to Stripe on Google and just go into stripe.com and you will be able to see stripe has multiple different business solutions available you guys can see you have the use case of e-commerce and marketplaces as well and you can create your complete payment platform with stripe as well so to get started make sure that you have created a stripe account as well and then you can click on sign in on the top right or just click on start now to get started with building your stripe registration or your stripe account so you're going to log on to stripe over here and you just have to provide some basic information regarding you your full name where you are residing you're just going to enter all of that information over here and then you're going to choose a suitable password and if you already have an account on stripe you want to make sure that you log on to your account your pre-existing account and you will be able to see you're going to get a link on your mail to be able to log into your Stripe account. So we're just going to log on to that over here. And once you log on to Stripe, you can get started with connecting Stripe to Shopify. It's really not that hard. However, keep in mind that whenever you're building with a platform like Stripe and if you're looking to connect these kinds of payment methods, you need to make sure you're able to you know test it out you're able to go through with the transactions so you guys will see this is our stripe account over here now to get started with connecting this what we're going to do is that we're going to go into our shopify dashboard so in your shopify dashboard you're going to click on settings on the bottom left now make sure that your store is a public store and you have removed the password protection a lot of people when they're still testing out their store they have it password protected and that is a hurdle when you're trying to test out your store so make sure that you have removed the password protection and once you've done that you also want to make sure that you are not on the trial version of shopify so once you have completed these steps you can go into payments on the left panel over here now once you click on payments you have multiple different options you have the payment provider option and the supported payment method now, if you click on choose a provider, it shows you different providers, third party providers that have different payment systems. Now we're looking to connect Stripe specifically, so we can go back and just click on add payment method and specifically search for Stripe over here. If you can't find it, then you're going to go into the payment provider section and then you can search for Stripe over here as well. And now if you can't find it in your particular region, it might be because Stripe is not available in your country or in the country that you have set up your Shopify store at as well. So make sure to keep that in mind as well whenever you are looking to connect Shopify and Stripe. Now you guys will see that if you have some issues with Shopify, so if your country on Shopify is not one that allows you to connect to Stripe, you want to make sure to change that as well. And once you change that, so if you still can't find Stripe on your Shopify store like this, now I can find Stripe, you guys can see it's a Stripe, it's currently unavailable, but I still can connect it. So you're just going to click on Stripe over here. And then after that, you will see a new screen pop up, which is going to be your connection section. So over here, you're going to use the phone number that you have provided and then you can use your authenticator app or security key to be able to authenticate your account and then you'll be connected to Shopify. So you can just go on ahead, take the QR code and you can enter that onto your phone. We're just going to use our QR code scanner like this. And then after that, you will be able to just go on ahead and proceed next over here. And you will see a code generated on your phone. That is the one that you want to enter like this and we're going to click on next over here now once we have received our code we are going to add it like so like this so once you have entered your code over here you can copy your account security code over here and then after that you have your next step 
In this step, you're going to verify that you want to connect your Stripe account to your Shopify store. So you're going to click on connect over here. Now, once you've completed these basic connections, you are going to proceed with your business location and business information. So this is a individual business and this is located in the United States and we're just going to click on continue over here. And once you've clicked on continue, you're going to provide your basic details. So this is going to be your personal detail. And once you've provided your personal detail, they will ask you for some of your business details, which you will then provide. And just like that, in a couple of clicks, you will be connected to Shopify. So it's really not that hard to be able to connect Stripe and Shopify. And once you have connected that, you can click on settings on your bottom left click on payments over here and you're going to be able to find stripe in your payment providers that you have allowed now if you still can't do this if you are not finding the stripe option in your shopify dashboard in that situation you want to go on to google and you can go on ahead and search for whether or not stripe is available in your country now if you have it available you can go into your stripe dashboard and click on more once you click on more over here, you're going to click on connect in the pop-up menu. And once you click on connect in the pop-up menu over here, you're going to connect it to your Shopify store from Stripe. So you're going to click on get started with connect and you guys will be able to see all of your basic information. So you can go on ahead and proceed to connect your account. You're going to click on create. And currently this is still in the testing phase, but you guys can see you can choose your account type and the country as well. So in this way, you can get started with connecting your Stripe store with Shopify. It's pretty simple and straightforward. And there are some other tips and tricks that can help you along your Shopify journey. So other than Stripe, if you want to add any other payment plan, you're going to follow the same steps. So you're going to click on settings on the bottom left then you are going to click on payments over here once you click on payments so let's say that you have a payment platform in your country that is not available on shopify so in that situation you want to go into manual payment method and click on add manual payment method then you can click on create custom payment method and you're going to build your own custom payment method so it might be a wire transfer so whatever payment method that you want, you can enter that. You can add payment instructions as well as additional details. Additional details are going to be shown whenever they're choosing their payment method. And once someone adds this as their payment method, they're going to find their instructions. So you can add everything as an additional detail or payment method is totally up to you to further help your customers be able to make purchases with multiple different payment plans. Now, if you are looking for payment plans or microfinancing, you can go into the provider and choose a provider like Klarna or Afterpay, whichever one you want to use and give other options for purchasers as well. So people can choose to, you know, buy now and pay later and be able to pay without interest or, you know, be able to pay in smaller amounts. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries or thoughts, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say. And I will catch you guys in the next video.